Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. Just before we start this one off, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please remember to hit that like button and the subscribe button also. Right, today we're going to be ranking Manchester United legends. Just before I do this, I want to let you know that I'm not a fan of Manchester United, I'm not a fan of any team that hates Manchester United either, so this is completely um, unbiased, it's it's basically my opinion on where I think these guys go. Now you'll notice here in terms of the, the tiers that we've got, there is no bad tier because every single one of these players did a fantastic job for Manchester United while they were there. So we're going to make our way through all of them and then hopefully by the end you'll be able to leave a comment and mention any that you agree with and any that you disagree with. Okay, so starting off, Brian Robson. Now, um, in any normal situation, I'd probably put him in legend tier one, but because of who he, who he is sorry, and when he was around, uh, Manchester United weren't really the force they were back in the day uh, while he was there. He was basically carrying that Manchester United team. So for the sake of that, I've got to put him in one of the greatest of all time, Brian Robson. Um, that's simply because of his status and what he did on his own as a player for the general team. So he's the first one that goes into the GOAT category. Uh, next one is Rio Ferdinand. I do think Rio is an absolute legend of the football club. I do. I think his service there was um, was fantastic. The amount of trophies he won, European Cups, uh, Premier Leagues, FA Cups. Um, so I'm, I'm, I don't think he deserves deserves the status of greatest of all time. I think that's reserved for certain players, definitely. Um, but I, I would put Rio in legend too, definitely. I think him and Vidic at the back were absolutely fantastic. Um, and, you know, that brings me on to Vidic as well. So I'm going to put Vidic there in legend too. Uh, next one is Ruud van Nistelrooy. Ruud was a fantastic striker for Manchester United. Unbelievable. Um, he's one of these players that does not get the credit that he deserves um, I think if he stayed there for maybe a couple more years and didn't leave to go to Real Madrid, he could have gone on and obviously would have won the Champions League if he would have stayed for the next season. At that point, people like Wayne Rooney and Cristiano Ronaldo were all there as well, um, just starting to develop into the players that they are today. Um, I'm going to put Rude in the legend tier one, and I think that's simply because of just where he is. I just think the man scored a ridiculous amount of goals for Manchester United. And not only that, they were big goals as well. Um, so, yeah, he's got to be there. Uh, legend tier three, Paul Ince. He's going in that three, definitely. Um, I think the move to Liverpool brought him down a little bit, in my opinion. Um, and I think that, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think he was a quality player, don't get me wrong. At the time, it was a very exciting Manchester United team. But for... For what he did after after Inter Milan going to Liverpool, and you know that that's um, yeah, not for me really. Dennis Irwin, oh my goodness me, I'm going to put him in legend tier one. He's either greatest of all time or legend tier one. Dennis Irwin was the most consistent player ever. Amazing at free kicks, amazing at running up the pitch. Just did his job. That's why he's going in legend tier one. Uh, Dimitar Berbatov, great service. Great sit, great service. I don't think he quite got that legendary status. I mean, I think he did win the Champions League, didn't he, with United and a few Premier Leagues. But, yeah, don't think he was on the same level as a man that we're going to come across a bit later on, to be honest with you. Uh, next one, Teddy Sheringham. Oh, do you know what, Teddy? I'm going to put him in legend tier two. I mean, obviously that goal in 99 uh, played a massive part in, in Manchester United's treble. And I think that's where he belongs there. He didn't spend a lot of time at Manchester United, but the time that he was there it was quite nice. Um, and he was a very good player. Rooney, greatest of all time. He is the leading scorer for Manchester United. Um, and you, th there's no other way. You know, you think of all the players that have come before him and he's beaten those records. It's, it's amazing. It's absolutely an astonishing achievement by him. Um, so all credit goes to him. He's definitely one of the greatest of all time. Uh, next one is Andy Cole. Uh, legend tier three with Ince. Um, I think Andy Cole, again, showed some fantastic service for Manchester United, especially when he first came from Newcastle. I thought he did a very good job. But, yeah, I mean, watching United growing up and, you know, a few friends that support United as well, they, they were, there was a few moans and groans about Andy Cole. Park Ji Sung, great service. I thought he was a fantastic player, don't get me wrong. He was a big game player for Manchester United. They always used to play him against Arsenal, Chelsea, uh, City. When they needed to actually get a win, he was the key player in that um, in that formation for them. Uh, next one that we've got... I actually don't know who that is. I can't actually see who that is really close. 
you know, I'm just going to put that in great service. I actually genuinely cannot see who that person is. Who is that? Anyway, Gary Neville, next one. Greatest of all time. He bleeds red, doesn't he? He is a, he's a proper true Manchester United legend. Whole career at United. Um, still defends them when he's on Sky Sports. Whenever, when anybody is doing their greatest 11, he always comes in at the, as their right back. Um, especially for Manchester United, he is the greatest of all time. Cristiano Ronaldo, greatest of all time. Um, winning the World Player of the Year at Manchester United, winning the Champions League, doing everything that he did. Uh, obviously, it was sad when he went to Real Madrid and he went off and he did broke so many records there as well. But uh, for me, he is the greatest, one of the greatest of all time in the Manchester United shirt, definitely. Same for this guy, so Bobby Charlton. The man is an absolute legend. Um, after what he went through for the Munich Air disaster, and managed to come back and do, um, you know, win the European Cup as well. Georgie Best is going straight up there as well as one of the greatest of all time. Uh, do you know what? I've got to put Dennis Law as well. I think the three of them together were, were such uh, an incredible force. Manchester United—they they are the greatest of all time, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, Van der Sar. Legend tier one, I'm going to give him, because, and that's simply down to the fact that penalty save against um, against Anelka in the Champions League final. Uh, he he was a really consistent keeper, one of the best keepers that Manchester United have ever had. Post um, Peter Schmeichel, definitely. Uh, the next one is Solskjaer. Oh, I'm going to put him in legend tier one. It, it's difficult, you know, with greatest of all time as well. Obviously, that goal in the treble winning season probably puts him as one of the greatest of all time but I'm putting him in legend tier one here I think he was always a really really strong substitute to have I remember that time in the 99 season when he came off as a sub at Nottingham Forest and he scored four goals in like 20 minutes the man was ridiculous uh, Michael Carrick legend tier three a good servant to United uh, a very good player as well taking that number 16 um, taking that number 16 off Roy Keane I've just realized I've got two Carricks there let me just shove him on there um yeah, I think he was very, very good, to be honest with you, but I don't think he's any higher than Legend Tier 3. David De Gea, great service. I, I don't think he comes under that category of a leg as a legend for Manchester United. I think that what he's doing at the minute has been very good over the few years. I think he's he's wanted to move in the past, so I, don't, I think he's just done great service there. Steve Bruce, Legend Tier 2. Steve Bruce was an absolute legend. That goal um, that he's got, I can't remember who was against, but that was the day that obviously Fergie and um, Fergie and Brian Kidd ran onto the pitch uh, for them to win their first Premier League title. You know, it all started with that. It was absolutely amazing. Ibrahimovic, great service. I'm going to put great. Do you know what? No, I'm going to bump him up to. He's in this bracket, and the reason why he's in that bracket of possibly going into legend tier three. I'm putting him in great service. The reason why I was considering putting him in legend tier three is because of what he did to win the Europa League and he completed the set for Manchester United and the fact that they won every single trophy after that. But I'm going to put him in great service. Antonio Valencia, I'm going to put him in legend tier three. I think he's been there for years for United. Very, very consistent. Um, yeah, I actually quite like him. Greatest of all time, Giggsy. He's got to go in there, hasn't he? Let's be honest. Uh, no one comes close to him uh, in terms of like appearances. I think I think he was the highest um, appearance maker for Manchester United. Uh, Robin van Persie, I'm putting him in legend tier two. Um, again, you've got to bear in mind there's no bad column here, but you know what what he did during that season, especially you, you remember the goal that he scored against City in the last minute where it got deflected. So many good goals that he's done in such a short space of time for Manchester United. He's got to go in that category. For me, Roy Keane. Oh, he's in this bracket. I'm putting him in the greatest of all time. I, I, I think growing up watching United, I think he produced some absolutely phenomenal games, especially the Champions League. When you think of that Juventus game, he was absolutely phenomenal. When you think of the Arsenal bust up, he's there again. He was a consistent figure for United and he only wanted 100% off everyone. He was a fantastic captain, so that's why he's going there. One matter, great service. Yeah, he's he's been all right nowadays. I don't think he he tips into that legendary status. I don't not at all really. Uh, Patrice Evra, mm, legend tier two, and I think that's simply down to the Suarez thing as well, and the fact that um, he stood up for himself in such a great manner, especially winning that game and going straight to his face afterwards was quite funny to watch. He is a legend at United. He still loves United. You hear him when he's um, commentating on games. He he wants to he wants United to win. 
So I'm putting him in legend tier two. Paul Scholes, greatest of all time. Um, definitely one of the best players that I've ever seen. And I don't understand people saying they don't think like Giggs and Scholes are two at the minute that I'm hearing that aren't these these greatest of all time players. I'm like, no, you're talking absolute bollocks there. Um, Ander Herrera, great service. I wouldn't even put him in great service, to be honest with you. I think he jumped at the chance to join PSG uh, for a lot of money. So I'm, going, I'm putting him in there. Peter Schmeichel, greatest of all time. Don't think United have ever had a better goalkeeper than Peter Schmeichel. Growing up, he was an absolute animal. You look at him and the way he, he organised his defence, he was something amazing. So fair play, he's definitely going in greatest of all time. Um, Beckham, I am going to put him in greatest of all time. You know, obviously his free kick skills and his work down the right with Gary Neville was really good. But I think also for the branding of Manchester United, he he's he goes into that category of greatest of all time. Because without David Beckham, you're talking there's millions and millions pumping in through shirt sales, through other things um, of, of Manchester United. So I think he was actually quite critical for United at that time. He was an icon, you know, on and off the pitch, which Manchester United benefited from it uh, definitely. Final one I think is Yap Stam. I'm going to put him in legend tier two. I thought he was brilliant. It's a shame that he left so early to go to Lazio, but I actually thought he was a fantastic player and his services were very much appreciated. Right then, guys, this is my um, final list. I've got quite a lot of uh, goats there. There's quite a few in great service as well, actually, to be honest. But please leave a comment down below if you agree with this, if you disagree. Uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button like always and thank you for watching.